Alrighty guys, as you can see, I got a customer scooter in here. I got one over there I gotta work on tomorrow, this one. Um, so I got these two I gotta bang out. But this uh, this scooter has a no start scenario. I replaced the coil, so it has a new coil. We replaced the spark plug, and we replaced the CDI. And unfortunately, the scooter still has no spark, which obviously leads us back to the source, which is going to end up being uh, most likely a stator or magneto problem so today i thought this would be a fun one to show you i've already kind of torn everything down but i'll explain it as i go so you're going to be pulling your fan um your heat shroud off of the rear side of the engine um, once you get this off it's gonna be a couple eight millimeter bolts and probably a couple screws once you get that off that'll pop off and then attached to your flywheel here you'll have this fan which is four eight millimeter bolts you're going to take those off and then you're going to have this big nut on here actually we'll we'll see what size this is i forgot because i did this a couple days ago i've been waiting on this tool to come in so there you go I Pretty sure that's a 17, I want to say. Yep, that's a 17. So it takes a 17, and you are going to need an impact wrench to get that 17 off there. Same thing with if you were doing a clutch or a variator, you're going to require an impact wrench. And the 17 also fits right on here. Now, this is a specialty tool you have to order, and what I've done is I've already screwed this in. This is a GY6 flywheel puller. Um, but, the, but the one thing you want to make sure that you're doing here is I'm going to put a mark right here with a wonderful sharpie that i have to make sure that we line this up exactly in the same spot as we took it off so we are going to be putting a mark right on the flywheel if this pen works does this pen work hey it's working now so i'm just going to come right down here and i'm going to make a mark to make sure that i pull that off in exactly the same spot so i know if i line this up when i go to put it back on and i put that down i know that that's where we took it off that if you guys can see that so now i have a mark on there you can line it up with tdc whatever you want to but right now it's in a perfectly fine spot to pull it off at so all i would do now is put my 17 on my impact and i would start to screw it in now this is reverse thread to get it into the gy6 so it's reverse thread it goes that way okay to tighten this it goes to tighten this piece, it goes that way. This piece is gonna go forward and what's gonna happen is there's a big magnet inside here that's holding this into place. Once you get this off for the first time, it'll be a lot easier to put on and take off, put on and take off, but the first time you definitely, definitely, definitely need an impact wrench to get this off. So I'm gonna try to do this as smoothly as possible. We just need to remember that, okay, little fly, get out of here. We just need to remember that our black line lines up with the pickup coil. So when we put the new pickup coil on there, we're gonna go ahead and line that up. And uh, it's going to be off-center just a little bit. And then you got to be careful when you put it back on because it's going to drop on there really fast. But as of right now, we're going to go ahead and back this out. I'll try to do that on cam. I'll see if I can set my phone somewhere where we can record this. All right, we'll see if that works. I'm going to try to hold this uh, in place because we want to keep that lined up as much as possible. So let's put this on forward here. Make sure this is set for forward. I'm going to hold that in place, see if we can give her a hit. She's moving a little bit. I want her to stay lined up. There she goes. All right, so I'm gonna give a little pull. Should come off there now. We don't want it to snap back on there. It's fighting me. Okay, so there you go. And then we reverse the thread, take it off. Okie doke, pretty easy. Oh, there was a little washer inside there. Don't forget that washer goes back in there. So we're going to set this aside. We have a mark on there. It's just a little bit for the F, so we'll pop that back on there, and that slides on perfectly like that. Tells you that you're at the top here. And now we can take the stator off. Let me set that up there. So I'll back my flywheel puller off. We don't need this anymore. The flywheel puller's job is done. So, pretty handy dandy tool, cost you about, I don't know, 10 bucks. You need these if you're gonna be working on scooters. This is specifically designed to go into the flywheel to pull it off, so. All right, so he came and brought me the new Stator, but unfortunately the connector's wrong. However, the wiring pinout is identical, except notice something wrong here? Yeah, so this was the original connector from the other Stator. What I'm going to do is I, I remove the connector. I'm going to go ahead and cut this, take this inside, solder this on, 
and uh, once we're done soldering it, then this one will work. They're both five pole, they're both the same setup. The problem is came with a different connector. So we're gonna adjust that, we're gonna modify that here today. And um, so let's go get soldering. For those of you guys who don't know how to solder, I'm sorry, perhaps watch some YouTube videos. Maybe that'll help you get through this. I build uh, race drones and stuff, so I'm constantly soldering all the time. So I'm just used to it. So in this situation, this is a very easy fix for me. So I'm gonna go ahead, instead of making him order a new part, because he got the part wrong, we're going to go ahead and just solder this connector onto that one and call it a day. All right, so there you guys go, soldered, ready to go. There's the old connector. Now I'm just going to pull the shrink over the top and then heat it up and then shrink these wires and we'll be ready to take it out there and install it. Sorry about the vacuum cleaner in the background. We're doing a little cleaning today, but there you go. Ready to install. No cold solder joints. Should be perfect. Transference of power should go nice and easily through there and the connectors still look like they're in really good shape. So, this is ready. Everything else matches and should plug in rather easily. We're good to go. Let's go install this uh, eight pole and uh, yeah, see if we get some spark. Alrighty guys, eight millimeter electric ratchet. We're gonna put them on there and pull these middle ones here first. So we get that out, pull them out slowly, set that right inside here where it goes, and then the other one's obviously going to go right there. Oops, knocked my head off a little bit there. There's that. Pull that one out, put that right where that goes there. Okay, next up, take off the pickup coil. Right. Put that in the pickup coil slot. I'll come over here, do the same thing. That should come off there just like that. Make that swap real quick. Just like so. Okay, so screws in there. Now we should be able to access this brace between here which just pinches the wire on the back and holds the wire there so it doesn't make contact with the flywheel base basically that's what it does so pull those out there's that pretty long pretty hard to mistake the screws on this thing Back that out. Come on out of there. There we go. Pull the brace out. If I can get it, pull it from the top out. There we go. We'll set that right there. Know exactly which way the brace goes when we put her back in. All right. This should pop off of there just like that. Gorgeous. All I really did, guys, was just give a little pull, and then this should pop off there like that. All right, for now, I'm just gonna set this one aside after I get it up and over the top here. There we go. We're just gonna set that one over there. We'll go ahead and start the installation of the new one. You're just basically gonna reverse the entire process of everything you did. Okay guys, quick side note. So clearly, you could just look back at one of your pictures to see which way this gets installed, but yeah, anyways. That extra wire, any extra wire go behind the pickup coil. Even the, some of, some of these stators have a whole bunch of extra wire like this one did. You can see that lump right there, that's extra pickup coil wire. Push that back underneath it and then put on your pickup coil and then tighten it down. And so this is tight, this is tight, this is pushed up where it should be. You can see I've pushed that back up in there. So now the new one's installed. So now we all have, all we have to do is put on the piece right here and we're done so we'll go ahead and put that up in there like so and that's pretty much it then i'll start slapping this thing back together so there you go that's what it should look like when you're done fairly simple not much to it and uh, just make sure that none of your wires can connect with the uh, flywheel and then you just pop your flywheel back on make sure it's lined up pop your flywheel back on you should be good to go so if you guys remember i made a mark on the flywheel 
so we'd know exactly where to put it back on at and that's pretty much the extent of it that's that's what you do so pretty easy so if you guys remember on my flywheel I made a mark on the flywheel where I took it off at you could put it to T if you want to for top dead center but I made a mark on the pickup coil exactly where it needs to go back on at and then I slide it like a centimeter to the left it's easier to put on and get it off and on after it's been removed for the first time but right there is where I took it off at so if you can see the line is lined up with the pickup coil on the edge that's exactly where I took it off at and it just slides into home plate beautifully you can see that it is locked in well that's where it needs to be we are good to go so now I'm gonna slap that washer that I had wherever the heck that thing went I'll have to find it here I guess <laughs> there was a washer there let's see Dan there it is so we'll pop that washer back on there and then obviously get your impact wrench tighten this down and start slapping her back together she's uh she's ready to go back together and then see if it gets spark you know we got to plug in the wires which obviously is just undo what's up there and just plug these in i mean it's pretty self-explanatory from that point moving forward so we'll just unplug the old one plug the new one in and, and then we'll see if we get some spark here Okay, so before we had a complete no start scenario and no spark, let's see if we get some spark now. We'll see if you guys can see. Three, two, one. Yay! We got some solid spark now. So, she needed a new state or magneto. Interesting. Well, let's slap her back together. She should run now. And there you go. like a top. See how long it takes the RPMs to come down. I notice that as the electronic enricher wire is broken. We'll see. We'll see if it idles down under its own. If not, I'm going to adjust the idle. Alright guys, a little one-hander ride on a 150 battery compartment, put the seat on there, take it for a rip. Plenty of power. If I goose it, she'll go. She's got a lot of power. Get past these leaves because they'll make you spill and then open her up. Okay, hey brother, come get your scooter. All the parts have been installed. She's ready to rip, tater chip. Now we just gotta figure out this front end issue you got going on here with this whole, oh boy, this mess. We can probably replace a lot of that, but I know you have the top fairing, because I'm the one that took it off and put it back on, so I know you have that. This definitely is not ideal. These wires, not ideal. All this, we need to resolve this, man. But, Hey, it rips. She goes. She go. Well, that's it for my fix shit. Now you guys know how to install a stator. You need specialty tools, <laughs> flywheel puller for GY6 engines, and uh, da, 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 da. there you go. So, she goes. She rips. <laughs>